All right, it's time for another Science with Sarah this morning and David and they are hanging out with the fifth grade class at Spicewood Park Elementary. Well, good morning, guys. What kind of experiment are you guys doing? Hey guys, so today we're testing what kind of uh, dough is conductive, you know, regular sugar dough or a salt-based Play-Doh. So first, what about David... What the other kind of dough? What's up, money? The green dough. Ah, well, it's conductive for other reasons. I don't have any. So okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a half cup of flour in here, which I already did beforehand. David, if you want, uh, one and a half cups of flour, rather. Half, right. Yep, and if you want to put a half cup of sugar, we're just going to make a simple dough here. Half cup of sugar. Um, yep, and then while you're doing that, I'm going to put three tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. You could go fancy with an olive if you want, but let me tell you, vegetable oil is affordable. So I'm going to put three tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then David's going to put half a cup of distilled water. It's important that the water is distilled. We don't want any impurities in the water. So he's going to put it in there. And then you're going to mix it up a little bit here. Um, that's a very simple dough. While he's mixing, he'll knead it in a second. While he's mixing it up, we have an LED here. Now, the LED has a longer wire, which is the positive side, and a shorter wire, which is the negative side. What we've also got is a 9-volt battery with some uh, connector wires to it as well. And we're going to test the conductivity of this dough. How do I get to dig in? You can dig in now. Okay, you can use his hands to knead it all up. Let's move that out of the way. Right. I feel the need right. to knead. Right. These wonderful fifth graders here have already started making their dough ahead of time. So that way we could get going. So, David, that looks perfect. If it ends up being a little bit too sticky, you can add some more flour. What I want you to do is I want you to take two globs of that dough, little tiny globs, like really small pieces. And at the same time, I'm going to take two small pieces of this Play-Doh. Uh, it's black Play-Doh in theme for Halloween, I guess. <laughs> okay, so two small globs. So let's split that up even more. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to separate these wires as much as possible so they can be farther away from each other. We're going to stick the positive side in on the right here and the negative side in on the left. And what I want you to do, David... Can't touch them. Can't touch them. And I want you to take this battery, this thing, take this battery and put the positive side, which is the red wire, and the negative side in there. Let's see if the LED lights up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so it did light up a little bit, but not all that much. And the reason that it lit up is probably because there's some impurities in the water, just slightly. Let's test out the Play-Doh, though, and see what happens when we do that. All right, we've got Play-Doh here. All right, so this is the positive side right here, and that's the negative side. Let's see what happens. This one right here? Yep, can you see that? Okay. Whoa! Oh, look how bright that light is. So guys, what was more conductive, the dough we just made or the Play-Doh? So what we're going to do after the break is we're going to have you guys make some circuits, try to make them, decorate them however you can for Halloween, and we want to see what you guys come up with. How does that sound? Yay! Awesome. Okay, well, we'll be right back after this. You need to cook that. Welcome back. We're doing Science with Sarah. We're making circuits out of dough. Oh, y'all can keep on talking. One of the reasons... Oh, my gosh. We've got some excitement going on over there. One of the reasons why the Play-Doh is so conductive of electricity... I'm sure you've tried a little Play-Doh when you were a kid. Ate it? It's <laughs> a little bit? Yeah. It's pretty much salt. Okay, so the salt is baked in there. These awesome kiddos are starting to make their circuits here. Okay, um, Mac Mackenzie's going to show us how to... Okay, oh, yeah. so Mackenzie's got her dough, and she's got the uh, positive and the negative spread out. The dough's not touching, right, Mackenzie? Okay, let's see what happens when you, when you light up the dough. So that's the positive side, and that's the negative side going in there. Just a uh, little light. A little you see? Just a light, little. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's do the Play-Doh and see what happens. So she's getting the Play-Doh together. So the, the Play-Doh is more... What are we looking for? The, the longer side. Right. Yeah. So see if it conducts the electricity back. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. So what do you think about all that? I think that if you put, like, the dough, it only lights up a little bit. But when you put the Play-Doh, 
like if you just touch it, it'll light up. Lights up pretty good. So you do you know the difference? Yeah. What did what did what did uh, Sarah say? Um. So like the batter, it only lights the light up a little bit, but when you do the play doh, it lights up a lot. Yeah. The plate the, the the dough lights up because and the play doh lights up more because of of why. Remember? Lights up more because... Is it salty? Yeah. Yeah. Does that conduct electricity so the, better? So the yeah. salt conducts his electricity. So if I went home and put a lot of salt in my dinner, would I conduct more electricity? I'd be like lighting up the world if I ate a lot of salt then. Good. David, you need to watch your sodium intake. That's, See, what that's you why said. you gotta watch your sodium intake because you'll be so, lighting up everything. One, these girls did great. These girls did so great. One thing that you'll notice is with your kids when you're troubleshooting so how are we doing this, over here? you'll want to make sure that the Play-Doh does not touch each other. So if the Play-Doh is touching itself, uh, touching each other, it's not going to light up because it's creating a short circuit. But if the Play-Doh is separate from each other, you'll see a light up. Uh, it light up. So that's another really cool example of conductivity here. Boom! Awesome! <laughs> it's so much fun. So, um, you guys, have y'all been able to create any shapes out of your... Oh my gosh, look at this! I don't know if you can see this. So, so... What kind of shape is that? What did, what did you create? Um, well, it's really, really not a shape. We it's kind just, of abstract. Yeah, so we, <laughs> so he, he was like, hey, let's combine our things together. So I said, okay, so I gave him my thing. And then, bam, it's working. Awesome. They actually ended up doing uh, two 9-volt batteries. Really cool. And notice how their Play-Doh is not touching. So great job. What's your name? Jonathan and Adriana. Adriana did awesome with this experiment. All right, let's see this one. Oh, look, look at this. Like a bridge. Look at that. Ah, so cool. So what was the idea behind these two pieces of Play-Doh? What was trying to build there? Uh, I was trying to build, like, legs. Oh, legs. Oh, yeah. Nice. So it's a walking light bulb. <laughs> we like that. That's See, incredible. Moves. That's and you saw the difference between the dough and the play doh. All right. So why is there a difference? Do you remember? Yeah, because the dough was um, it would only light up a little bit because I had to think there was something in the water. Yeah. Uh huh. And why does the play doh light up? Uh, it has something to do with the salt, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much. This group of fifth graders has been awesome here. Uh, and if you want to do this experiment at home, details are going to be up there. We'd love to see your pictures and what you create with your kids as well. So with Science with Sarah, this is Sarah and David. So test yourself. See if you're smarter than a fifth grader at home. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Well, with that experiment, it's a big I, test. I, yeah, no. You are. <laughs> I, Y'all did great. It was a tough experiment. Yay! Good job, guys. Well, we did. Good thank job you, Sarah. To the fifth grade.